O oh, great spirit of my fallen people, what menace awaits us here in the new world as the horror of Countess Karnstein infects that showbiz maven, that matriarch of movie mayhem? I must know the true extent of her knowledge of our secret. How much was I tricked into conveying the bloodlust for eternal youth that devoured my deviant cousin, Countess Karnstein? How much does she comprehend? I must find out. I must. I must. I must. All right, all ready. All right. Under hypnosis, you mutter some kind of mumble jumbo about a relative of yours, a Countess Karlstein, who took a knife to her virgin servants and bathed in their blood to stay young forever, eternally youthful, ever humpable, and retaining all her teeth. Well, what good does that do me? There are no virgins here in Hollywood and all the servants and maids are Mexican. Do you expect me, a descendant of the pilgrims from the Mayflower, to mingle my blood with those who devour chili rellenos and all that hot sauce? It gives me gas just thinking about it. So don't make me laugh, Mr. Pretty Boy. You're just another pretty face here in this town. So get real and face the music. The hand plays on, whether you're here or not. But I hope you stick around and we can make some pretty music together. Pretty boy. Oh, spirit of the real me, let it not be true. With great trickery, the Earth Mother of Tinseltown has unlocked the secret of our demonic dynasty. A heritage of evil that stains I, a prodigal son of Castle Karnstein with a crimson curse in all the name of everlasting youth. Let it not be true that I spilled the beans and the noxious vapors of our hideous heritage now jeopardizes the city of angels, Los Angeles. The nightmare imagery of genetic madness, insanity and murder played out in front of the, and behind the camera. An orchestrated bedlam of hell unleashed. A nightmare come true. A nightmare. A nightmare. A nightmare. Don't go in there. She's having a powwow with your plastic surgeon. What's all that racket in her office? <laughs> Jealousy can really put a put a pow in powwow. Jealousy? Over you. Your talent, your face, your body. Oh, and what of my soul? Do I lose that here in Hollywood? It's the first to go, so come with me. Where to? North Carolina. There's a big film community there, and I need someone to direct me. 
That crabby hack is making zombie porno flicks, and I deserve better than that. I deserve you. You're an artist. Royalty from the old world. A world of style and wit, and I need you to direct me. In pictures, movies of prestige and power. Are you with me, brother? Give me your cell phone. What's that noise? My cell phone. Well, answer it. I'm getting tired, and I'm all black and blue. I've got clients to see later, and look at me. I'm a mess. Hang on. Hello? What? You can't be serious. I see. Well, there is... What is there to say, except... Bon voyage. What was that about? He's gone. Back to the old country. You mean... We lost him? This creation of mine has flown the coop? With wings that I myself has fashioned with these hands? Someone like that is not easy to hold on to. He's slippery and greasy and too hot to handle for people like us. But you had more of a chance than me. My days are numbered and the digits are all over my face and body. It doesn't have to look that way. I mean, with a little nip and tuck here and there, maybe a little silicone and voila! I did it with him. I can do it with you. Oh, how exciting. You're not a nurse, you. Pretty soon it's going to be up to you to continue this nightmare. What do you mean? I mean, someone's got to run this studio, and my running days are over. You'll never run out of steam, Mum. You're hot. I'll make you proud of me. Don't worry. Daddy lives in my jeans, and what was good for Daddy is good for me too, Mama. Mama.